So here we are, been going about four hours now and uh, I've come about 32, 33 miles I think it is. Um, that's Cape Rodney, Cowell, Auckland no longer visible, well, well behind. Northland Coast on the port side and coming up towards Sail Rock and the Hen and Chick Islands or the Hen and Chicken Islands. Now look, I'm sorry, I know I've talked about this before, about how things get named, but look at those things. That is not a hen and its chickens. When I look at that, I see, I see like an alligator or a crocodile, you know, with its head on the left and it's moving to the left and it's about to pounce on that thing there, which is actually sail rock. Maybe that's its tail just going off to the right in the distance. That is an alligator or a crocodile or some other big, scary, aggressive animal. That is not a hen and chickens. Who came up with that name? I Maybe, maybe it looks like a hen and a chicken from the mainland, possibly. Okay, possibility. Anyway, I, I, who, who names this stuff? <laughs> we, we just take all these names for granted, right? We, we live with the names of places, towns, cities, islands. And they, it's, but, it, but when did it, ha who named them and when did it happen? How did they do it? Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, you know you're relaxed and switched off when your biggest concern or your biggest curiosity is um, how the heck someone named some islands the way they did. That is one thing that I love about being on the boat, being on the water. Um, it does just force me to, to switch off and just think about other things. And th this is me switched off, by the way. So <laughs> have spare a thought for my poor dear wife. Um, this, this is me switched off, I promise. Um, anyway, the water, I talked earlier about the blue water. The water is here. The blue water has arrived. Or rather, we, we have arrived in the blue water. It doesn't come out so well on on film. Let me have a look. Maybe I'll try this. Put it through my glass. What happens there? No? Is that working? Kind of... I don't know. Does that work? If I... Actually, if I move the glasses in and out, it momentarily works. This is pretty rubbish effect. You get the idea. Big blue water. Beautiful. And... As I was talking about earlier with the fish, I caught something. Well, I didn't catch it. Something hit the rod. Um, a fish got on the hook, the car wide, I saw it, jumped, um, but it got straight back off again just as quickly. So that's okay. I mean, hey, if, if, you're, <laughs> if you're a smart enough fish to um, get yourself off that hook as quickly as you got on it, you realised, you know, this was a bad idea um, and you sort of want to back out of that whole plan, get off. No, I've got no problem with that. That's that's cool, um, and hopefully that that car wise just gone off with a little bit of a sore lip, um, but gone off and got on to better things, and maybe tell some of his mates about it. So um, yeah, so I think that tells me I'm sticking with the plan, the original plan. Uh, the chicken is coming out of the freezer for dinner.